Very good day everyone. We are continuing our discussion through this lecture video for the upcoming coverages, no? for the upcoming examinations. So I hope that you are able to jot down the gist and salient details and points that we are going to be tackling as we continue with our second lesson for uh, this coverage. So let's first have a quick review if we must or if we may. No? So we've already discussed what are the different mediums of presenting no? different art forms or different art materials through what we call painting mediums. So what, as we all know, these are used by different artists not that uh, they are able to communicate best their ideas. So over the years, over the different eras and genres, as well as different uh, nations, practices and traditions, we are able to see different materials or mediums as we call them used by different artists to produce some of the most iconic you know, art works and art materials, art pieces rather, that we have witnessed in modern history. So now we are going to continue with our discussion and in this particular, um, in this particular topic, we are going to be talking about uh, another set of mediums used in painting. So as we continue with our discussion, we have here another medium known as encaustic. This is a pigment in a wax vehicle that has been heated to a liquid state. And this is used by ancient Egyptians, Greeks, and Romans. Hence, early medium by Egyptians for painting portraits on mummy cases is encaustic. Another is it is done by applying wax colors fixed on heat or fixed with heat. So therefore, the wax is also melted for it to be used or for it to be utilized skillfully by the artist. This produces luster and radiance, making the subjects appear at their best in the portraits. So, sabi dito, this is used by ancient Egyptians, especially in painting portraits on mummy cases. Diba if you are going to look into different um, artifacts coming from ancient Egypt, makita na to that the paintings on mummy cases or kung sa modern or some modern terms mga lungun as you would makita nimo dito that it is very much kana bitaw still very visual makita nimo that murag uh, wala gyud nilubad ang mga paintings because the ito what they are using is the medium encaustic wherein it is a wax pigment wax that is heated in a liquid heated to a liquid state therefore making it uh, making it stand the test of time no? despite of having hundreds and thousands of years in fact of being buried etc etc when examples of this is presented in the screen we have fayum funerary uh, portraits these are men with a beard second century part of the myers collection eton college in windsor as well as the portrait of boy Eutych eutychus uh, this was done in AD 180 uh, the Met Museum, and a portrait from the 1st century CE, Walter's Art Museum in Baltimore. So these are examples of um, artworks that used in caustic. So makita ni mo din ha, that it is still very much, uh, the quality is still very much intact as it was despite. Look at the generations that it stood, 1st century, 2nd century, etc. Et Another, one of the most commonly used is oil. Oil is a ground ground pigments mixed with light, uh, linseed oil vehicle and turpentine medium or thinner slow in drying so it allows corrections or working over hence pigments are mixed with the linseed oil and is applied to the canvas this is flexible or oil using oil makes the uh, making or the drafting or crafting of the art material or artwork flexible because the artist can use even his hands in applying paint on his or her canvas. Therefore, it is easy to correct and repainting is not that much difficult. This appears glossy and lasts long as, as most materials if you have noticed. So for example, makita ni mo that the quality is also intact despite no, the canvas uh, shifting kasi nga uh, matagal na masyado ang artwork pero tinuod yun ay class. Nga wala yun ay kilay si Mona Lisa. <laughs> Wala na apilan. But then again, kidding aside, you can see that the quality, the usage of oil, and ang nakanindot, you can use your art, you can use your hand in trying to correct 
details ba? Try to look at the precise details in the eyes, the precise details in the mouth area, in the nose, you know, the lighting, or the shadow, and so it's it's very, very, it's a very important masterpiece indeed. No, one another example of oil is Water Lilies by Claude Monet. Makita ni Modere, it's not really karabitaw, that concrete, kasi nga, more on abstract siya, pero you can really cle uh, clearly see that it is depicting water lilies, right? So this is uh, the dirty waters in the pond, kipuno ng lumot, and then these are the water lilies. Okay? Next. Um, yeah, so dari makita ang water lilies by Claude Monet. So, pila po di siya ka canvas, so po di siya ka dakua, or pila po di ka whiteboard, or ito also po dun. Ngayahan na gigamitag oil. So imagine, look at every corner of this canvas, yung hunky cover, trying to form or trying to showcase this angle, no, or this frame of water lilies. Another is acrylic. These are mixture of pigments and a vehicle that can be thin with water. Hence, this is used by contemporary painters today because of its transparency and, take note, quick drying characteristics of watercolor and flexibility of oil combined. So, acrylic is watercolor and oil that is combined. Acrylic is synthetic paint mixed with uh, acrylic emulsion as binder for coating and coating the surface of the artwork. This do not break easily, unlike oil paints which turn yellowish or darker over a period of time. So nowadays, I believe, if I'm not uh, mistaken, more, more artists use acrylic because of the different characteristics and features that it can bring to your artwork, no? especially if you're planning to really preserve your artwork for longer periods of time. So those are the different um, mediums when we use or when we try to make paintings. No? So better take note of them. Anyway, we continue now with different mediums of sculpture. So kung sculpture, uh, again, this is denoting how an artist is able to, to communicate his idea. Hence, this medium may be in the form of different materials such as um, two-dimensional or three-dimensional. Kung maghisko takaron o sculpture, no, we can see that uh, these are two-dimensional or three-dimensional, meaning to say we can touch them and we can see them as if it is really lifelike. No? So we begin with our discussion with this very fascinating piece of artwork from ancient times, Paginisha class, the stone or the limestone. This medium, so for example, in this particular um, picture as seen here, the Venus of Willendorf from 28,000 to 25,000 BC. So, makita ni mo the depiction of a woman. Definitely, not all women before were depicted as having this curvaceous body, etc., etc. But hence, as you can see here, the, the woman presented, you know, the Venus of Willendorf, is really what a depiction of a woman who is, for example, a mother is, or an aging woman is. Another, this is still using limestone, the bust of Nefertiti. This is the Pharaoh uh, Nefertiti. This was in 1345 BC. So, makita ni mo how this was, or how limestone was used in forming or shaping yung paghulma sa maong mga picture, tanawa, sa maong mga art materials. Sir, naapa na karon, sir. Yes, actually, naapa ni siya karon in museums. Another, uh, so, so these are examples of stone as a medium of uh, sculpture. Stone, granite, marble, uh, basalt, limestone, fine stones such as jade, ivory, we also have metals, plaster, clay, glass, wood, and bronze. No? So this is an example of limestone. Kanisha. Sir, how many still you know, fertilities or you know, Venus? Because try to look at the uh, times no? and try to look at the, the culture, the, the community or the tribe that uh, formulated or sculpted these particular uh, artworks. Another, marble. Marble, of course, hamis siya because of its characteristics. As what we have seen, Lao Kun and his sons, this was during the 2nd century BC. Or for example, kaning kay uh, Michelangelo nga yang statue of David. Sir, ilan din nagila usab-usab, sir? They are trying, this is part of, kanin nakita ninyo sa ubos na picture, this is part of their preservation of the artwork. Of course, they cannot change already what is, but this is a preservation of the artwork. Kung magpabili siyang hamis, putli, o walay, walay apan. But kidding aside though, this is one way of preserving art artworks and hence, they do not really cannot be change 
the artwork per se they just try to preserve its uh, original characteristics and then of course we have the very famous the terracotta army in china this was in 210 to 209 bc so i don't know if the myths are true nga mga tao gyud ni sila kuno nga gi 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 mummify or whatever pero mga statue gyud ni sila class that na lang mga urban legend nga mga myth or mga folk myth or folklore etc nga mga tao do kuno ni sila nga gi tabunan of or gi mummify pero definitely these are only statues of the terracotta army kanila another when we use bronze ah, and by the way this was used using clay so these statues are really really kind of be down um exquisite kasi nga clay ang ginamit in trying to depict the terracotta army so di na siya mahilabtad tanaw nang tanggal ng ulo sa uban kasi nga over time no the characteristics change etc etc pero wala gyud siya gihilabtad di ka pwedeng magbahis-bahis di sila tungod buhiton pa lagka nang isa na nila so basically uh you can see how the art artwork is pieced together carefully no trying to depict the subject another is bronze as you can see this is uh Perseus with the head of Medusa by Benvenuto Cellini so makita ni mo diri this is the body of Medusa ang kawas ang mga dugo splattering around and then you see Perseus cutting the head of Medusa sir so, ano mag ang depiction sa ilaha sir kay naked mag it's because di ba na sila pwede suotang patalon o di ba na sila pwede suotang bahag or kanang Greek na kuan cloth kasi nga we are not able to karamitaw classify kung ato silang butangan o kare kasi di ba di mo sila kwa sa fashion nga for example kung si Batman mo ni ang identity based sa iyang look so most artists kani adto would try to depict them uh, in their human humanly uh, as possible nga magkubo or na uh, may cloth pero sa kanang saklop lang ana ba dili gyud necessary nga you know karang agyo sila ilang kong galingong costume or what not so as you can see here this is a very literal depiction compared to cartoonish depictions of Medusa as a monster etc etc so these are very literal depictions of what it would like if ever these mythologies were gonna be tell humans get they really cut off the head of course very human like put an attribute get but say for example another is the Auguste Rodin's the burgers of Calais in 1894 to 1895 still using bronze here they try to depict the different uh, emotions of people different lives and scenarios and of course another is Edgar Degas the little 14 year old dancer combination of different various mediums no? so makita ni mo dali sir nga no medyo makita ni mo ang mga positions sir ba sa angle poses etc etc then again it is now given the artistic freedom of the the artist on how he or she wanted to depict kasi always remember class that this is depicting a particular imagery so the use of color the use of the the angle the pose the, the facial expressions that the art work is trying to omit or present or communicate really has a meaning that the author or the artist can relate kasi nga, this is expressing no, his or her uh, thoughts feelings emotions experiences etc etc and then we also have different or other mediums so we have here for example the stained glass this is a common art in gothic cathedrals and churches uh, i believe this is really during the renaissance to the medieval times no it is made by combining small pieces of colored glass held together by bands of lead the pictures in the stained glass commonly depict the lives of saints and in effect also serve as a religious instruction among christians so as you can see this commonly uh, carefully pieced together and we see now the different lives that saints and uh, other historic uh, events that transpired say for example of sila gibuhat and at first glance dili ni mo masamtan but then again you cannot really tell the story by writing it word for word in the wall or in the ceiling right so there must be imagery and one way of presenting the imagery according to you know in a very artistic and crafty manner one of which is uh, kaning gitawag na stained glass another is uh, another medium here is tapestry what is tapestry sir Tapestry or fabric is produced by hand weaving colored threads upon a warp. Hence, the woven designs often end up as pictorials, wall hangings, and furniture coverings. 
say for example, kada bitaw na kay cloth, o na kay uh, threads of different colors, kaya mong i-weave na na. I think uso gya po na siya until during our time, karon nga they try to weave kada bitaw mga pictures sa baby, pictures sa angel, etc., etc. During Middle Ages, they were hung on the walls of palaces and in cathedrals at festive occasions to provide warmth. So they also use that in that particular uh, reason or purpose. Another is a mosaic. This is an art of putting together small pieces of colored stones or glasses or glass called the tessere to create a particular image. Say, for example, the stones are cut into squares and then glued on a surface with plaster or cement. And then the mosaic is an important feature of uh, Byzantine churches. As you can see here, you cut this a square, square like, it's a perfect square, but it's depending on the image you can construe. So if you're trying to, sir, you're going to paint it, sir, most definitely, if you're going to paint it, material derecho you are not trying to paint it according to what you depicted it ang maglisod ka sir na possibility nga ilahan ni gi paint da answer tapos they just cut it into square uh square tawag nito they just cut it into squares square stones makarot para mamahimo siya depicting in that crafty or aesthetic manner then again aesthetics is the understanding of the philosophical study of beauty and taste so this might be their taste so that could be a possible a theory in how they were able to come up with this particular artwork or medium of art. And then lastly, we have here the drawing. Drawing, so for example, uh, this visual art type is usually done on paper using pencil, pen, ink, or charcoal. It is the most fundamental of, a, of all skills necessary in arts. This is also considered as good training for artists because it makes one concentrate on the use of, of light. No? Shading can also be used to make drawing make more lifelike and realistic. We have your bistre crayons and silver point are also examples of medium for drawing. And then aside so gonna draw ni ang picture, gonna shade niya to emphasize the features. Say, for example, the, the muscles, the back muscles, the head, and about the gesture, the motioning. So this is also a very uh, a very definite way of depicting the imagery. And as I've said, or as the, the discussion had stated, this is the most fundamental of all skills necessary in arts. Because if you do not want to draw, then you cannot create your draft or layout. And then you are going to have a difficulty in trying to depict, no? The imagery that you wanted to to show or to provide okay so these are the different mediums when we talk about uh, art materials and art procedures so what i want you to do is to not master everything but to simply uh, study what are these mediums and differentiate them from one another so compare and contrast what is watercolor from fresco tempera etc 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 okay so as an added task for this lesson. I want you to make a Venn diagram showcasing the differences and the similarities of painting mediums, as well as um, what do we call this? As well as uh, sculpture mediums. So what you're going to do is you're, go you're just going to get the gists no, from the different mediums in painting and in sculpture. Place it in the Venn diagram and then you also identify usa ang ilahang pagka pareho. So I will use or I will ask you to create a, to make a Venn diagram showcasing the difference and the similarities of painting and sculpture medium respectively. I will be collecting this via Google Drive and I will just give further instructions when we have our face-to-face -face classes. So I hope that you learned you know, very important lessons in the different art materials and art processes as a jump off to our coverage for the upcoming examination. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching this lecture video. God bless and see you in class.